The reason why I have started in this way is because Islam has many forms that it has taken today on the globe. But there is one form of it which will remain pure, it will remain pristine, it will remain good, it will remain clean. If you have a well and the water of the well is gushing out and that water, you get it two kilometers down the line. It will have some dirt in it sometimes. You might need to filter it again and again because you are filling your cup two kilometers away from the well. But if you have a spring that has gushed right here and your cup is right at the spring, you will have the purest water. Why I say this is because you are sitting in what is known as Manba'ul Wahi. Manba is a well that gushes forth. What did it gush forth? It gushed forth revelation. This is where it descended. So if you were to come to the city and not be able to understand how to purify your own beliefs and to remove superstition from your beliefs and to be able to learn the proper pristine deen of Islam, then I would like to think you have wasted your time in Makkah al mukarrama Where else are we going to get the deen from? Yes, we may be fortunate to have it filtered at a distant land. But the reality is we are sitting right here right now. Today, people come to Makkah, they take drinking water with them. What is the water they take? Zamzam, mashallah. Why? Because the well of Zamzam is in Makkah. So if you were to go to your country or anywhere else, and you were to get Zamzam from there, perhaps you would need to pay for it. Whereas here, you can take your little bottle, go yourself, and you know this is pure. Sometimes in your country or in my country, when we get a drum of Zamzam or someone says this is Zamzam, you taste it and you say, mm, I don't know, maybe it's mixed, maybe it's not pure. But here we are in Makkah al mukarrama we have pure Zamzam. You can go back home and say, Wallahi, I filled this drum myself. You can say that because you took your drum, you went to the Zamzam, you pressed the button and it came out. So you were at the well, you would be foolish to go home without any Zamzam. So when we go home, we take some Zamzam or we try to take it inshallah. But the same way we are worried about getting pure Zamzam, we need to be more worried about purifying our deen and purifying our faith, purifying the, the, the beliefs we have.